let's move on to the star of the show and talk about noise reduction called denoise in the uh, version 12 update that we just got. It's a whole new functionality that we haven't had before. The noise reduction tools and the sharpening tools in Lightroom are eh, meh. They're kind of meh, like you could use them. But I always went to Photoshop because they had it was so much stronger. Now, hmm, I don't really know. It's kind of an interesting thing. So first, let's talk mm -hmm. about noise. What is noise? The scientific way of saying it is, it's an arbitrary alteration of brightness and color, a random variation in image signal, but we know it as large irregular pixels that misrepresent luminance and color, meaning noise. It's noisy. It's a mess. It's blobs of color that the software has had to imagine based on a series of reasons. So the causes can be poor lighting which often results in extremely high ISO that causes noise. It's artificially elevating the tones. And because of the way that the digital sensors collect information, which is the brightest part of the image collects 80% of the data, the darkest half of the histogram has only 20% of the potential data. So if you're underexposing your images, you're losing a lot of potential data to work with in post. And if you have a dark image where the histogram smashed up against the left yeah. and you drag that up to be brighter, you're asking a lot of the software. You're really asking it to be psychic. You're asking it to imagine the pixels that you want it to fill in. And that results in noise, the bad judgment or the difficulty that the software has making those choices. Uh, long exposure times is also something that can um, contribute to noise. If you've ever done astrophotography, star trails, yep. northern lights, that kind of stuff, you know that that's an issue. Heat is an issue. If the sensor heats up, if you're in a very warm environment, or if you're using your camera, rolling video, or, or taking yep. a lot of shots uh, quickly, that sensor can get hot. And then editing. Sorry, but yes, editing, even without high ISO, can create a lot of noise. And we as underwater photographers are often at fault for shooting too dark. Uh, we're in a dark blue environment with a bright little light that has full spectrum uh, colors behind it. So it is faking us out. That's why your screen usually looks so much better than the image does when you get it on your computer. That screen, as you know, I call it a big fat liar because it is, and it sucks you into thinking you nailed the shot and you're like, oh my God, I, how did I totally miss that? Yeah. So you have to look at the histogram a little bit while you're shooting. Not, you don't have to live and die by it, but it's always a good measure to make sure that you're getting at least some midtones in your shots. So you have a little more elasticity in that file when you're editing. Um, the other thing, not just bringing stuff up from dark, but extreme white balances can definitely add noise. And I know you you guys have seen this. Extreme white balance actually mimics uh, heat. Uh, color noise is generally relegated to coming from uh, overheating on the sensor, but an extreme white balance does kind of the same thing. You're asking the software to imagine a gradient of colors and it just, it yeah. can't do it. So it fills in with wacky stuff. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do this yet. I'm going to just let's just let's just look at a little bit of noise and uh, what that is. Okay. This image was shot at 25,600 ISO. Uh, I think I'm going crazy when I'm shooting at 1200. Yeah. Um, and in fact, if I zoom in here, it's a respectable number. Like you know, you can see there's a lot of noise, and this is very dark. So I'm going to want to bring this up and make it brighter anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, the new denoise, I'm going to go to the develop module here. I just hit D on the keyboard to do that. Um, the new denoise tool should really be used very early in your process. Definitely before you use any of the local tools. So before you use any of the masking, you want to apply denoise. And by the way, you can only apply it on raw images. The denoise filter in Lightroom does not work with non-raw images. And also you can only apply it once per image. When you do, Lightroom creates a new separate raw file, a DNG file 
applies the noise, uh, the denoise to that. And so you have two images right next to each other, the original and a separate raw file with the corrected noise. But that should happen early in the process because if you have a lot of masks, the pixels are getting all jiggled around and all of those masks have to be redrawn uh, by the noise reducer. So that's not really the best thing. However, you can use uh, some of these global things. And I, I'm just gonna zoom out so I can see. I wanna get something a little bit brighter, like maybe that I could bring the highlights down a little bit in the sky there. Uh, maybe add a little contrast. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh, and now I'm going to come in here and let's go to the detail panel, which is where the denoise functionality mm -hmm. lives. It is very complicated. Get ready. If you didn't take analytical geometry and calculus, you might as well just sign off now. No, it's one button. It's get ready super to take, easy. Get ready to take notes. There's a lot of steps. It's super easy. So what I'm going to do is just click here where it says denoise. Denoise, 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 structure, structure. And uh, it's going to show me the original noise. Look at that. When I click and hold, that's the original noise. That's kind of a mess. Yeah. And then this is enhanced, meaning noise reduction applied. At least that's what the preview is saying. Now, yeah. the default is 50. Uh, and you can... Leave it at that for most of the time. It does a pretty good job. Or you can slide it up as far as you want. But the further you slide it, the more like a watercolor your image is going to get. The more these pixels are going to blend into each other. And if you have a really noisy image like this, you might not have any choice. Um, I'm going to leave it here at 76, which is an extreme kind of noise reduction. You start to lose uh, little details. Um, like fine lines, you'll start to, they'll start to be eaten up by the noise reduction. But let's just see what happens. Now, um, something else before I leave this uh, dialog box here is that you cannot turn off raw details. It's mm -hmm. a raw file. Yep. And you cannot turn on super resolution, which doesn't really work that great anyway. So I'm not crying over that. But just so that you know, um, you you can create a stack which just means that uh, Lightroom will layer the new DNJ G on top of the old raw file so that they're both taking up the same space in the grid. You'll see a little um, window in the upper left corner that tells you how many are in the stack and you can ungroup them at any time. It's no big deal. Yeah, it's more like an organizational decision. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like how you like to organize your images and yep. work with that. Uh, but I'm going to click Enhance here and it estimated about nine seconds, I have a little uh, task bar up here in the upper left that shows what it's doing. Okay, there we have it. That's the noise reduction. And here is the original. Wow. That is quite yeah. something. So I think that um, we can honestly say, and I've been playing with this for a while, the noise reduction block rocks yeah, in Lightroom. It's amazing. Rocks. Yeah. It's really great. It's really fantastic. That's an image I might have thrown away. Like I might oh, like, like I could throw this like, away. Yeah, it was special because we were we were at this, yeah, we were at this volcano that was active. It's not a it's not even like Comba. No, it's not yeah. even doing this. Is in, in Indonesia. That's the dive yeah. to my liveaboard there Beautiful. in the background. Yeah. And so you know, once again, yeah. the workflow is I'm going to go to the develop module. I have this image. I'm going to just bring up the darks a little bit, which will create more noise but I, I have to be able to see. Now I'll bring the highlights down, and maybe even the whites down a little bit to get more um, tone in the sky. And then okay. um, I could try and white balance this. Let's see. Oh, I don't like that. Let's just dial that in, get the extreme. Uh, uh, maybe I'll just leave it because it's going to be really extreme. Okay. Um, and I'm going to come down to detail and hit denoise. It just cracks me up. The noise. <laughs> um, and again, you can slide this around. You can click and drag in here to get it to any spot that you want. So you can see, you know, specific places if you want to. I'm going to come over here to where I might be able to find some some smooth places and some detail. Okay. All that sensor noise. But all that yeah, it's amazing. Beautiful. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm going to click enhance. And it will run. Now, something to mention 
if you run this Dean Hoys and you still have some color issues. So if you have blotchy color in here, mm -hmm. you'll notice down here, I have some, uh, let me put this back. I've got this kind of purpley stuff. It's, it's happening. You can still use, um, if I go back to the detail panel, you can still use the color noise reducer here. You can see that it's working on the red lights of the ship, the color there. Oh, yeah. You can still yeah. add more noise reduction um, with the, the sliders in Lightroom, but the denoise does such a good job. Now. Yeah, so they kept the old thing. tools in, in place. Yeah. Okay. So now let's do another extreme one. This is in deep sea in a submarine that I was in uh, from the Argo in Cocos, actually. And I'm going to go to the develop module and I'm going to bring this up so that I can see what the heck I'm even looking at. Okay, so we've got, I'm looking at the histogram. That's good. We've got some midtones going all the way to highlights. I'm going to come over here to detail and hit denoise. And I think I'll just, I'll take it down a little bit more than that. Hit enhance. It's actually pretty fast. It's it's actually yeah. not bad considering yeah. what it's doing. Considering, it's yeah, my considering the... Wow. Yeah. Okay, so now we have the noise reduction and the original noise reduction and the original. That's yeah, pretty damn amazing. Look at that! Wow, that's crazy. So, uh, people have been asking, what about these? other plugins that are fantastic, like the Topaz plugins. I have the Topaz plugins I use. Um, there is a, come to find out, there is a workflow that you can use with the new photo AI from Topaz that lets you go out to it and bring back another raw file. So you can kind of double dip, uh, but what we've discovered is you can only do it in one direction. Yeah. So. I'm going to go and use this other plugin and see if I can get more noise reduction out of this. Um, and I'm going to go to Topaz to do that. But I can't start in Topaz and come here because the DNG that Topaz renders as a result is not recognized by the denoise as a raw file. So it won't work on a raw file that's been rendered by Topaz. Yeah. Um, however, if I come up here and say file, plugin extras, process with Topaz Photo AI, uh, I'll edit copy here. This is gonna take me out to Topaz eventually. Oh, I think I have to, yep. there it is. Yep. Okay. And I think it's looking at the original raw yeah. data, you know, because there just wasn't this much in there. And so what I can say here is, let's see, subject detected, raw remove noise. You have some sliders, but not, not really that much. I'm going to say save to Adobe Classic. And now this is going to go in and do more noise reduction. Whoa. Yeah. And when it comes back, I get this enhanced NR, uh, where is it up here? Enhanced NR2 DNG. So if I compare these two, the NR2 DNG is Topaz and the other one is uh, our original one. And we look closely. What you'll see is the Lightroom one did not introduce a lot of color noise and we're getting a lot of color noise introduced into that mm -hmm. Topaz double dip. So let me go back and do one more experiment. And that is if we start here with the CR2 and just take that out file, uh, plug in extras, process with to Topaz Photo AI. And we're just using Topaz because that's the one I have. And there are a lot of other plugins that also do noise reduction. So I'm going to say save to Adobe Classic. Now remember, this is on the original. This is not with Lightroom Denoise added. So we have this uh, DNG. We have the enhanced noise. Uh, that was the Lightroom. And we have the noise two. That was the double dip. So I'm going to just look at all these together here. This is the Topaz rendering of the original. This is the double dip. And this is the Lightroom rendering of the original. 
if I go back and I'm just going to um, delete this one from here. No, I don't want to do that. I want to just take it out so that we're just looking at these two. You can see they're quite different. There's Topaz, there's Lightroom. Lightroom has maintained better colors, I'm going to say. Yeah. It, it's, I think it, it's just like there is the yeah, same. It's like yeah. two seconds later. Yeah. It, so it's the same. Uh, yeah, that's what we were noticing is, you know, in testing this, it, the, the color rendition is definitely there's a color shift that's happening with Topaz. And maybe sometimes the image appear to be a little sharper in certain details. But the trade off is which one is, you know, it's going to be better for your processing situation. And because of the new Lightroom denoise, do you need Topaz? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that they both do a great job and it's going to take all of us experimenting on our images to see which one or which combination of things gives us the best result. There's one more thing I wanted to mention here. And that is, let's say we have this image here. I'm going to zoom in and you can see there's, there's quite a bit of noise there. I'm going to go to uh, the develop module and denoise. And I'll really denoise the heck out of this. Let's come up here and click enhance. So all noise works by some degree of blurring, right? This algorithm, this artificial intelligence algorithm is really fantastic, but it, it all works by blurring. So sometimes you get you know, a lot of blurred images as a result of getting rid of noise. So what happens now if you go out and you sharpen this in something else. I'm going to go to Photoshop for a second here. Command E on a Mac or Control E on a PC. I've just jumped over to Photoshop. I'm going to Command or Control J to double this background layer. So I have a before and after. I know I'm moving really fast, uh, but most people don't understand Photoshop anyway. Yeah. So I try and zoom through it. But what I am going to do is use the Topaz Sharpen AI on this image. Right now, I'm gonna zoom in here. And you can see, look at this guy's hair here. It's blurred, this is the before. Mm -hmm. And look at what happens with the sharpness here and the sharpness here and the sharpness here. It's amazing. I'm gonna apply this. So my point, look at the creases in those shorts. So my point is that it may not be that you know Lightroom completely makes these plugins obsolete. They're evolving at an incredibly uh, fast pace. Okay, so there's the before, and I'm just going to move this down, and there's the after. So I'm able to get back a lot of detail and sharpness mm -hmm. uh, by kind of double dipping on these these things. I I think it's fantastic. I'm going to just Command S on a Mac or Control S on a PC to save this. It it flattens that you're no longer have your raw file here anymore mm -hmm. is the deal when you when you do it this way, uh, but it's going to close this out. It's going to save it to uh, the same folder as the original, right next to the original, and Lightroom will automatically find it in the grid. So this now has three versions. I'm going to control click and unstack. So this is the original. Uh, this will be the enhanced NR that stands for noise reduction. And then we have another one that's the edited version. If I zoom in a little bit here, where you, you can the see the difference. Sharpening. Yeah. So there's the original, there's with the noise reduction, and there's with the sharpening. Beautiful. It's crazy. It's awesome. I love it so much.